Ibrutinib is one of those drugs that targets uh, the B cell receptor signaling pathway. And probably the uh, most efficient component of that pathway to inhibit appears uh, to be the Bruton tyrosine kinase. And it was a, a really smart idea because uh, the Bruton tyrosine kinase is absent in boys that are born with X-linked hypogammaglobulinemia, and those boys are born without b mature B cells. So if the absence of BTK results in absent B cells, maybe pharmacologic inhibition of BTK could eradicate uh, an abnormal, abnormally functioning B cell. And that's what ibrutinib was designed to do, and that's how it's worked in the, in the clinic. The drug is orally bioavailable, and it's a covalent inhibitor of BTK binding to the ATP binding pocket. The drug is taken only once a day, but has a biological effect for about 24 hours. Most patients note uh, an improvement in symptoms very soon after beginning treatment because it shuts down cytokine production from the abnormal B cells. And then that's quickly followed by marked uh, regression of palpable lymphadenopathy, enlarged spleens, enlarged livers with a concomitant rise in the peripheral blood lymphocyte count in about 75% of patients. That seems to be because the drug is uh, forcing a redistribution of the abnormal cells from places where they hide inside lymph nodes and the bone marrow and pushing them out into the peripheral blood where they are more apt to, to die. And that appears to be what's clinically observed. So if you look at the fraction of patients who will respond to ibrutinib when given for relapse disease, it's variable between studies, but appears to be around 85% in general, although the majority of those patients achieve only a partial response. That said, that partial response is quite durable with continued treatment with ibrutinib, and in almost all of the longer-term follow-up studies, the median progression-free survival has not yet been reached, despite some patients having been on treatment in excess of four years now. Toxicity is different, so unlike chemotherapy, where there's uh, a risk for myelosuppression, immune suppression more broadly with some drugs, um, increased risk for infection as a result, ibrutinib uh, has a far lower risk for treatment-related cytopenias, and consequently appears to ultimately reduce the risk for infection. In the, initial, in the analysis of the initial phase one, phase two trial, um, for CLL specifically, the incidence of severe infection was significantly reduced in the second six months of treatment as compared to the first six months. And that, too, is unusual to the extent that treatment actually may um, help patients to reduce their risk for infection rather than augment it.